Hi everyone, this evening I am making my chicken spaghetti and I just want to show you all my ingredients. So I have my chicken broth, my petite diced tomatoes, you can use that or you can use the um, Rotel uh, mix which is the uh, green chilies and your tomatoes. I have my cheese there, my cream of chicken soup, my spaghetti, my onion and mushrooms. Of course, uh, the onions and mushrooms is optional um, as well as the cheese and the chicken broth. So really all you need is the spaghetti and the cream of chicken soup and your um, Rotel or your petite diced tomatoes. And of course we need our chicken. I am using boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which I love to, um, to use for my uh, recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin. First, I'm gonna go ahead and boil the chicken. I already got my water going. So I'm just gonna add my chicken. And I'm going to add my seasonings and I'm going to boil this until it's done you can add whatever seasonings you would like to yours um, I used uh, a blend of a few things as well as some chicken bouillon so we're gonna let this boil and I'll come back when we're going on to the next step okay I've been boiling my chicken for 30 minutes and it is done I already took a piece out and just cut it open matter of fact I think it was that piece so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay, I took my chicken out, it's right there. So we're gonna set that aside before we shred it or you can cut yours up however you want your chicken to be uh, for your um, spaghetti. We're gonna keep the, uh, the pot going. The reason why I had the chicken broth is in case we needed some extra water but we don't need it. So we're just gonna go ahead and add our noodles right there to that broth that we've created. Um, with our chicken. So now we're going to let those cook to an al dente. Of course you can make yours till they're done if you want to. It's, it's all up to you. You cook those to your desired uh, tenderness. So we're going to let those cook. In the meanwhile, go ahead and cut up your onions if you're going to use those and wash off your mushrooms and cut those if you'd like because we're going to go ahead and saute those next. Okay, I'm sauteing my vegetables in a little oil and butter. I'm not adding any seasonings to those, but you can add some to yours if you like, if you're even using them, because they are definitely optional. And I'm just gonna saute these. I'm also shredding my chicken over here, as you can see. So I'm getting that ready while I am cooking my noodles. So we'll be back in just a moment. Once these noodles are done, we're gonna go ahead and combine everything and we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, now I got my noodles drained. I got them set aside. I also reserved some of my broth from um, the chicken and the noodles. Got my chicken already shredded. Got my vegetables sauteed. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our soup, our creamy chicken soup to this pot here. I'm just gonna combine everything before we put it in the oven, so go ahead and put your soup in the pot first. Okay, now that we have the soup in, I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove on kind of a low because we want to go ahead and heat that up. You can add more soup or take away if you don't need that much. I'm only cooking for my two younger daughters, so I'm only going to make a small portion of it. These are my diced tomatoes I'm adding in. If you don't want to add those, you don't have to add those either. So I'm going to get that stirred up. I'm going to go ahead and add in my sauteed vegetables. that you don't have to add all the things that I'm adding. You can add uh, whatever you want to add to yours. All right, that is heating up. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. Also, I do have my oven preheated to 350 because we're going to put it in the oven until the cheese melts on top. So roughly about 10 or 15 minutes. I also have some crushed brown crackers, um, not brown crackers, crushed crackers that uh, my daughter, she wanted some butter crackers, I'm sorry, put on top of her side. And one of my daughters don't, so. <laughs> All right, that's pretty hot enough. I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles now. I have here. 
they didn't have a time a chance to really stick together so we're gonna go ahead and put those in and just toss that through <laughs> 